वेलकम दिस इज एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट्स टुमारो न्यूज साइक्लोन कार हैवी रेन लाइकली इन कर्नाटका एंड गोवा टुडे अ साइक्लोनिक स्टॉर्म फॉर्मिंग इनटू द अरेबियन सी इज लाइकली टू ब्रिंग हैवी रेन टू गोवा एंड कोस्टल कर्नाटका द वेदर ऑफिस सेड ऑन फ्राइडे द गोवा गवर्नमेंट हैज इश्यूड अ रेड अलर्ट एज द वेदर ऑफिस वॉन्ड साइक्लोनिक स्टॉर्म क्यार कुड टर्न इन टू अ सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉर्म इन द नेक्स्ट ट्वेल्व टू थर्टी सिक्स आवर्स strong wind is likely to be seen along the coastal district of northern maharashtra and the northeast arabian sea of the gujarat coast the weather office said many places in maharashtra goa and karnataka are receiving rains for the last few days mainly because of cyclonic storm kyar in the arabian sea that was stationed south of ratnagiri on saturday morning it was about 350 km south southwest of mumbai coast moving with a speed of 12 km per hour Kyar is expected to develop into an extremely severe cyclonic storm by this evening which is the second highest category of tropical cyclones according to their strength. Cyclone Kyar which is likely to have wind speed touching 170 to 180 km per hour at its strongest is the most powerful tropical cyclone to emerge near the Indian landmass after the Fani which had caused large scale devastation on the Odisha coast in May this year. Kyar however is not expected to hit the Indian coast line like most cyclones that emerge in the Arabian Sea is expected to sever west northwestward and move towards the Oman coast this is likely to happen over the next 5 days according to the Indian meteorological department during the time that is the near to the Indian coast however it is likely to result into widespread rainfall in the adjoining regions The IMD said light to moderate rainfall was expected at many places over coastal districts of Konkan and Goa and South Gujarat over the next 24 hours. The western coast is also likely to experience strong winds reaching speeds of 120 to 130 km per hour on Saturday and Sunday. IMD has warned that sea was likely to be rough in this region for the next 2 days and advised fishermen not to venture into the sea along the Maharashtra Goa Karnataka coast. After the next 24 hours the system would gradually weaken into a very severe cyclonic storm and later into severe cyclonic before touching the Oman coast most probably by October 31st That's all for now for more news updates stay tuned with us it's tomorrow news jit dolakia If you like the video please like share and subscribe